Hello guys, so this is question 4.23 and the statement of it is suppose that x and y have the following joint probability function which has been given in the form of this table. Okay, so on the basis of this table we have to find a the expected value of g x y x y square and in b we have to find the mu of x and mu of y which are basically the expected values of x and y. Okay, so let us start it from part a. So solving it here the part a so now what do we have to do we have to find the value of gxy x y square we have to find its expected value and previously we have seen that the expected value of g of x is what that is the g of x multiplied by f of x okay and then we have to sum them all together okay here we can see that the gx g of x is x y square so therefore writing it here what i will get here it will be x y square and multiplying it with the corresponding values of f of x okay so let us see that what are those values so the first value is one and uh, the value of y is one the value of x is two so what i will get here here i will get two into one square okay so here two and x y is one so y one square and the value of it which is 0 0.10 and that says what that is f of x okay so i hope you have got it that from where i have been getting it so this is the first value then for the second one the value of y is one while the value of x is four so let me write the value of x and the value of y is square and the value of f of x is 0 0.15 okay now let us move to the second row here we can see that the value of x is again 2 while the value of y is 3 so it will be 2 while 3 has to be squared because of this formula and the value of f of x is 0 0.20 okay similarly for it the value of x is 4 while the value of y is 3 so 4 multiplied by 3 square okay we can see that here and the value of it is 0 0.30 okay similarly for the last row here the value of y is now 4 while the value of x is what the value of x is 2 so uh, 2 multiplied by 5 square and 0 0.10 and the last value here is 5 4 so x is 4 while this is 5 square and this is 0 0.15 okay at the end what do we have to do we have to add them all together okay these are what these has to be added together and these are the multiplications okay so when we will add them and multiply them together what will be the answer the answer of it will be 35.2 and that is what that is the solution of part a of our question okay uh, similarly to see the part b of our question we have to first find mu of x and mu of x is what here we have to multiply the value of x with the corresponding values of the row which are in here in that row okay so this is if this is here so we have to find them all there so uh, we have to have them all together here okay so the first value of x is 2 okay so we have to multiply this 2 with what with all the values of x which are at 2 okay so now we have to do what here i have to add 0. 1 0 0 0.20 and 0 0.10 so we will get 0 0.40 okay and then the second value of x is 4 okay and then with this 4 i have to multiply the summation of all these values which are for x equal to 2 so what i will get this will be 0 0.15 plus 0 0.30 plus 0 0.15 so here it will be 0. 60 okay so here it will be 0 0.80 plus 2.40 okay so i will get 3.2 so answer of it will be 3.20 okay that is what that is the solution of
mu of x similarly for mu of y for mu of y what do we have to do we have to do the same for all the values of y so let me first remove them okay and here for the y these are the values okay we have all these values so 1 multiplied by 0 0.10 plus 0 0.15 so 0. 2, 5 okay for the second value which is 3 uh, so 3 multiplied by what with all these values which are 0 0.20 0 0.30 so 0 0.50 plus 5 with all these values so 5 multiplied by 0 0.25 okay so now adding them all together this will be 0 0.250 0, this will be 1.5 and this will be what this will be 1.25 we will get here 3 and that is what that is the solution of mu of y of part b okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 4.23 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon